Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have another 14 by 14 inch canvas in front of me. And this time I'm going to spread white paint again. <laughs> Same as last time. But this time I'm hoping it's going to be a slightly thinner layer. I'm going to use my OXO omelette turning spatula available on my Amazon link directly below, below the video. And if you can't find it, ask me and I will give you that link. So. I'm going to be attempting something <laughs> and hopefully succeeding this time. I'm kind of thinking maybe the right tool for the job was the answer and uh, I haven't done any successful colander pours or strainer pours and a lot of people just pour a mixture of paints that they've already layered and I want to try and do something a little different and I don't know if it's going to work or not but I want to try on a very lightly coated wet canvas this it's by Pol Polder and it's silicone and it pops flat and it came from Marshalls and I just no bugs allowed I just thought it might work really well and so I'm going to squeeze some color in here and hope that I'm right And I've picked up my colors in advance. And I think if I put my colors in the center, it will push everything else out. I'm going to try and stay. Okay, I always like to have white near that neon folk art purple. And this is white pearl. It's an Anita's brand. Anyway, the white, the, the neon folk art purple is a little difficult to find. And I'm going to use some regular white. And it's kind of looking like my theory is probably okay. I think I'm going to turn my turntable, which is something I jury rigged from an old Martha Stewart uh, glass umbrella tabletop, Lazy Susan. I kind of thought maybe if I was a little more careful about my color choices that I would get something I like. And so far, I'm pretty happy with my color choices. I kind of want to put some red in there. Maybe I can just skip over that. No, that's not what I want. I want some deep magenta. And I found it. Over here, hiding. Hopefully I'm right about this desire, <laughs> but I think I'm hoping that white background wasn't too thick. I really didn't think it was. I'm going to keep turning my turntable on the off chance that I'm a little bit on level. And that's my deco art pouring medium in Prussian blue, which is, I believe, a, gr a Grumbacher and it's in a tube only. And I like, I haven't got any gold in there and I'm not sure I should put it in there either. I'm going to keep turning my turntable. For the same reason I've been turning my turntable. Keep trying to force my... paint out. Not sure what I want for center. I didn't think that far ahead, which is kind of too bad. But I love my neon folk art purple, so maybe I'll use a variation on that theme. I did shake these, all of them, before I started. And I am going to have to lift that up pretty soon, and uh, that makes me a little nervous. Because it's a pretty wide base. But I've seen these fill in a whole lot of times, so I'm hopeful that that will be the case now. I think I have enough paint in there. Not only that, I'm going to go ahead and finish with my folk art. But I'm also going to do something like this. I'm just going to zhuzh it right out the holes. <laughs> I didn't even get to that second layer of holes. I don't think I could have done that unless I poured it. And that might have been kind of neat if I poured a big cup in there and let it leach out. 
I never have been like everyone else all at once. Kind of let it go where it wants. Let's see what happens when I pull the center up. I'm going to throw my dirty tools in my bucket. It's good to not let your paint sit on your tools. I have a good suction. There we go. Broke the suction. And here it comes in. I so hate rinsing paint away. Yep, it just wants to fill in. I want a black center, but I guess I don't really need one. How about a pink center? For fun. Yeah, I just dripped. I don't care. It's okay. I'm um, going to give it a little more. Because I can. And I kind of think I want this... minty green color shift by folk art around the outside edge. I'm surprised I see the black and the white. I don't see the black really at all. There. Well, I kind of like it. I am definitely want to uh, mess with things. I don't know how I can mess with things without messing with things in a bad way, but I'm going to give it a try. It's sort of like a ring pour. It's a hot day, which may make the paints very liquidous. You know what? I just really want to mess with it. <laughs> so, I am. That's what I'm going to do. It's pretty. But I'm going to pull the outside edge out. I mean, I really kind of like that, but I kind of like what I'm getting too. Love my Catalyst Art tools. Great little swiping tools. Making the most of all those colors hiding in there. And they're sort of swiping out. And I'm enjoying this. here and I know from experience I can swipe back in. Also know from experience that I can do all kinds of other things. Because I can. Too much fun not to play with. Artists gotta play. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> I still don't have my edges covered, which is a concern at this moment. And I don't know what's going to happen if I circulate. I expect to lose some things I like. Let's just go for it anyway. Because we can. Let's see if we can't make an effort, a stab at recirculating or recentering our paint, but it doesn't seem to be going the way I would intend it to if I had a choice. So, what do I do at this point? Why not? I love pulling paint. <laughs> I really do. So now I have that gorgeous purple. And tools. Ha! <laughs> And do I want another spatula? I got seven minutes left. So I'm going to take this little tiny spatula 
and I am going to do the same thing I just did, only in a different direction. Am I? Yeah? Ooh, dare I? How about the purple? Wow. That's a big dare. That's a fun dare. I'm going to wipe that off. It's like I have a lucky evil eye in the center. The center is going to get dealt with in some other way. There is a lot of paint on here. Fortunately, I really like the colors a lot, <laughs> so I'm not too worried about it. I've got to keep remembering to wipe off my spatula. So now I have a starburst. Did I miss one? Sort of, kind of, but not really. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't know what I'm going to do with the center, though. Maybe that's what I'm going to do with the center. Just keep pulling paint. I could probably put something of interest in there. I guess this wasn't going to need a frame unless I push a lot of stuff over the edge. Which I guess I could because I have plenty of paint. But that would be like a 15 minute process. And I don't really have 15 minutes. So I might say it's time to torch and see what happens to this. It's also time to pull some more paint. I see that. Right in between. Right with a much skinnier skinnier tool edge. You could probably use any of them to do this if you wanted to. I know I annihilated my pretty original design. I have a problem. I like symmetry. I like all kinds of things, but something about the flowers not staying in a symmetrical configuration bugs me, so I have to mess with it. Sorry for all of you are like groaning in the audience right now. Oh well, do your own painting. <laughs> See how you feel about it. Makes me want to add black. Makes me want to cover my edges, something fierce. I have some of them covered. I am going to need to continue doing that, but since I don't have that much time left, and I don't mind my center, I believe those marks will fill in. We can hope so. I can always blow on them or skewer them if I'm really worried about it. I like that turquoise there. You know what? I have a turquoise like that. Or a Bahama blue. Yeah, I think so. Oh, really? Fine. Be that way. Sometimes you just don't get the choice you expect to have. Not what I really meant to do, but that's okay. I would love it if I would learn to keep my paints out of my way. I want a dot pink in there. I just lost the top. There we go. Alright, this is coming out actually kind of cool. I'm not, I have no regrets. Except for maybe not leaving that dot there, which looked pretty good until I did that to it. But, um, what I do have here, which I want to use right now, is a little bit of gold. And use my the, the flat end whoops of my skewer. Yeah, that's pretty simple. So is that. I 
but I am winding up with a little more blue paint in my gold than I wanted. I had a moment where I forgot what I was doing. So we got two minutes left and I'm going to tell you what I always tell you. There's Instagram and Pinterest at the bottom under show more under the description for my video. And a link to a Facebook album that's incomplete because Facebook got all glitched up and messed with me. And I'm liking this. I'm tempted by black but I don't really think I want to go there. Um, I got some anomalous weird marks here going in the wrong direction, and I'm going to have to learn to live with them. <laughs> and I'm probably going to touch this up after you're gone, but um, it is what it is. And rather than do anything to it, I'm just going to do another one some other time. In the meantime, I am going to heat my paint to attempt to remove any bubbles that might be in it from me shaking the paint with the Floatrol and the GAC 800 I use to keep it from getting thick. My paint recipe is also under show more under the video in the description. Most times. Along with a little bit of this and a little bit of that other information. Like the links if you want to help keep my studio making videos to PayPal and Patreon. They're right there. Also on my YouTube header are the icons for PayPal and Patreon. I kind of want to rain X this. Wow. I also like the way that purple looked as a dot in there so much that I can't live without it and I need it back. So I'm going to add it back in. One of them was intact. And now I have an extra dot. Okay then. What can we do about extra things? I'm going to roll a skewer. Pick it up on our finger. Attempt to make it a circle again. Oh, we accidentally have spirals. Oh well. <laughs> so we're trying for book by Christmas and um, no matter what I want to keep doing to this, I think it's time to stop. I'm going to fix the edges like I said after you're gone. Oh, you know I lie so much. Darn. That's my timer. There's a lot of paint. The GAC 800 is by Golden. If you can afford it, it would be a good thing to invest in. It's not inexpensive, but you only need 10%. I can't remember what I was supposed to tell you. Amazon link. Shop the Amazon link underneath my video for OXO omelet turning spatulas. Buy the bigger of the two. This is the smaller one. The other one's in the bucket. Um, the bigger one is less expensive and works better for our purposes. If there's something I forgot, I'm sure you'll get told in another video. So, um, there's no perfection in abstract art. Learn to love what you got, and uh, if it dries and you have to fix it another day after some time goes by, oh well, that's the way that goes. I still want a black dot in there. I actually want a blue dot in there. Well, you're probably seeing this. And I don't know if they'll stay, but they added a little something that I like, so we're good. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, getting ready to fix the edges of her painting at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard on a warm October day. Yeah, it's not November yet, but it will be by the time you see this. So happy November, everybody. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you everybody who's contributed and all of you who subscribed because we're at 30,000 now and it's a nice feeling. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much and thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.